Joining us now for a talk on lung cancer is Dr. Ross Kamage. He is the director of the lung cancer program at the University of Colorado, and he sounds like he is from Colorado himself. Thanks for joining us. Uh, thanks very much. Yes, I have a British accent. Um, <laughs> I didn't grow up in Colorado. Okay. So you presented here uh, at ASCO 2011. What can you tell us about that? So I presented an update on the ALP positive lung cancer cohort within the Crisotinib first in man study. Basically, you confirmed that your breakthrough is still a breakthrough, which is quite significant. Yeah, I mean, the, the, this is an evolving data set. It was first presented back in 2009 with only 19 patients. Last year, it was in the plenary session with 82 patients, and this year we presented an update on 119 patients. And now we have longer follow-up. We have a median duration of follow-up of 11 months. And the, the amazing thing is the, the stunning activity of crizotinib in ALK positive lung cancer w was actually apparent with 19 patients. So just as you say, a, a breakthrough, it was a breakthrough then and it's still a breakthrough. It's, it's an entirely robust and reliable breakthrough. It doesn't matter how many patients you put on, they all do the same and they do great. Doctor, all results in clinical research, whether they're considered good or bad, are still helpful, right? Well, the key thing is the reliability of the information. And, and what's, um, it's not unique about this trial, but it's a really good example of the way the field's going. So the patients were pre-screened on a molecular level for evidence of a specific abnormality, in this case, an ALK gene rearrangement. So the patients in your trial are not they don't just vaguely look the same, they are the same on a molecular level, so they're uniform. So when you get your results, you really believe them. If you have a good result, if your drug works, everybody responds, or almost everybody. Equally, and this didn't happen in this case, if they didn't respond, that would really tell you that's not the group of people to give this or another drug to. So it changes the way we want to do drug development in oncology. Not one size fits all, but really trying to, to test specific molecular sensitivity hypotheses from the get-go. You've been a part of four presentations here at ASCO 2011, proof that real progress is being made in lung cancer research. So the, the team that started working on crizotinib um, was a very small team. It was a, a group of phase one investigators from a, a relatively small number of sites around the world um, and a very small team from the, the sponsoring company, from Pfizer. And, you know, we got lucky. Um, we were able to adapt to emerging data that, that, that these ALK changes were present in lung cancer. We could start to screen lung cancer and get them treated with this. Now that's now taken on a life of its own. Essentially, a drug has defined a disease that probably would still be a, a footnote in the academic journals if it hadn't arrived at the same time this drug was in clinical development. But yeah, it now has spawned a series of potential registration studies. It's now being explored in ALK positive disease outside of lung cancer. It, it's a very exciting time. Dr. Kamich, thanks for spending some time with us. Best of luck going forward in your work. Thank you very much. Dr. Ross Kamich, he is from the University of Colorado.